Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing DP Emotes, which is a resource that has been requested quite a long time for me to install. I do apologize for the long delay, I am finally finishing up school. It is my final two weeks and I can now actually focus my time a little bit more on YouTube over the summer. So let's get straight into it. So we are, just a warning, we're not going to be doing a MySQL installation today so we won't have the custom keybind supported. I know a lot of people kind of get confused over this because in the install instructions it says that you need to import this key, key bindings to your database, but technically you actually don't as long as you disable the custom key bindings. So if you're fine with everybody having the same key bindings, you don't need to do the MySQL step, which I'm not going to do in this video, just to keep it a little bit easier. We'll just go over how to install it in the key bindings of the normal one uh, so you can have it in your server if you don't want to use MySQL. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So pretty much what this does is it adds a lot of different emotes to your game. I think it has, yeah, 390 emotes for you to do things um, in-game. And this just works in roleplay really, really well because you can have players uh, communicating with emotes to each other and stuff and just making the roleplay a little bit easier. They have like a request part where you can request other people to take place in your emotes and stuff. Very cool. Um, pretty much all of the controls are listed here on the resource page. So slash emote and then the name will uh, do the emote. Emote C will cancel it. Emote menu will display a menu with all the emotes. F3 will also display a menu with all the emotes. Um, all of that cool stuff. You can change your walks with slash walk. Um, all that is really, really cool. There's a configuration file so you can disable the different things you want. And you can edit it for whatever you want in your own server, just you can't reproduce it, uh, re release it pretty much. So, let's get started. Uh, the full emote list is also here, so if you want to just do the normal command without the menu, you can just go ahead and type all those in manually. Um, well, whatever one you want to do. So, to go ahead and install this, you're going to go to the GitHub link, which is linked on the resource page. They have a, they don't have like a release, they do have a release tab actually, so we're just going to go ahead and use that release tab um, though you could always just download this uh, whole thing as well if you needed to but we're just going to make it easy on ourselves and download the 5.1.5.1 a release tab so if we go ahead and open this up you can see it's a dp emotes folder and you have the client and stream now if you notice back on the main page it does require you to keep this folder exactly dp emotes so we are going to rename that once we drag it into our resources folder so let's go ahead and drag it into our resources folder here and we're just going to go ahead and rename this and make sure it's just saying dp emotes just like that and we'll copy the dp emotes just so we have it in our clipboard so now that we have dragged it in um the config.lula file if you just go ahead and edit this with notepad notepad plus plus you can see all the different changes you can make you can change this to whatever you want there is a billion different things you can have so that's just really cool to see and then if we go into our server data folder our server.cfg file and edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus once again um, I'm just going to remove my other resources I had loading here just to um, make it a little easier to test this. We're just going to put ensure or start, depending on whatever you want to put. It doesn't really matter, depending on your server. And then we're just going to put that folder name in here, DP Emotes, just like that. We know we have installed it successfully. If we go ahead and start our server with our start.bat or our FX server.exe file, as long as you are in the console and you see that it started the resource DP Emotes without any errors, you know you are good to go. Let's hop in game and try out some of the emotes. All right, so we are in game here, and if we press F3, it will open my simple trainer as well, but I can just get rid of that. And then you can see we have the emotes to cancel emote, walking style, moods, info, and update notes as well. But if we just go into emotes, because that's kind of what we're here for, we can go ahead and just find whichever one we want. So why don't we do the blow kiss? So if you click it, it will run that emote just like that on your character. It doesn't matter what character you are, all of them do it. And you can see any single emote in the whole game is going to be located here, 300 of them in the this alone so you can even fall over if you want and fall on the ground so you have a lot of different possible role play situations here and then if you want to cancel the emote like one like this where you're sitting on the ground just go ahead and press cancel and it will end early as well walking style if you want to just do like an injured walking style you can do that so if you want to be more like a injured person you can have that uh, moods you can pretty much be angry drunk whatever you whatever you feel like you can do that as well I'll keep it at normal if you want the release notes and everything you can go ahead and do there um, they have a bunch of different um, info here as well. You could also do slash E. Uh, sadly, my chat doesn't work if I'm tabbed out, uh, tabbed into the game currently for some reason. So the menu is the best way to go for me, at least at this point. But 
just have some fun with this. Hopefully this did help. There's no MySQL installation needed. You didn't even have to change anything in the configure file anymore. So it's literally a drag and drop resource. Um, but I am glad that everybody wanted me to review this. Very, very appreciated. So I will give you a hug and then I will see you in the next video, everyone, in two days. Lots more cool things coming. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, comment. See you then.